Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with more Game of Thrones watching episode five today of season three. Wow. Season four. Season four. Okay, go for that again. <laughs> We're watching episode five today of season four. I am pretty hyped for this one. No particular reason other than we've just watched the preview that hypes it up. It usually gives us an idea on which characters we're going to be focusing on in the episode. And that was jam-packed. There it seems to be so much in it. We even got throwbacks to Catelyn and Ned to do with the whole John Aaron situation. So yeah. I assume it's going to tie into Lord Baelish and his marriage and you know that game plan a little bit. Yeah. But there's just so much in that. The intensity is there. Last episode was probably not as significant as I thought it would be. Like, it was a good episode, but I thought big moves were going to be made. It was more just realizations here and there. So I'm still waiting. There's always that one episode somewhere in the middle where some big shit happens, which sets the second half of the season. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think this was setting up a lot of things. I mean, we've got Bran and crew captured by... What's his name? Before we go to that, I agree. That one was setting up a lot of things, which is why I'm waiting for that episode. It usually happens around four or five, mm. where a lot of big shit gets done. Like you're like, holy crap, what just happened? Yeah, and that, yeah. That's what I'm thinking this is gonna be, and I'm pretty pumped for that. Okay. Yeah, Bran got captured by Carl. Carl. Who seems to have just lost his marbles at the moment. He's he's cooked. We're hoping that John is gonna be the one to rescue the day. That's what it's pointing towards, which yeah. is gonna be really cool. If all goes well, that'll be epic. Just elevate John's status. You'll yeah. finally get to see Bran again. Yeah, because there's been so many close calls from the Starks reuniting and they've never, all this time. And how long has it been? Years. It must have, must have been. And they still haven't seen each other. So I'm hoping this is the one finally. Yep. Last episode, we saw Brienne and Jamie say goodbye to each other after a very long journey together. They said goodbye. And it was actually quite an emotional scene. I was, like, quite emotional, especially with the whole Oath Keeper, Valerian sword naming. It was great for Jamie's character building. I loved it for Jamie. I love their interaction. And it's a shame it's sort of coming to an end now. But I think that's also because Jamie's got business to do and I can see him knuckling down and getting serious in what's to come. Mm. Brienne and has also, become also a lot more... Oh, maybe yeah, you didn't realise that I was actually making a point. <laughs> Yeah, Brienne has become a much more significant character than I would initially have thought. Yeah. Her journey and her loyalty to Catelyn has sort of extended her in so many ways. It's why she met Jaime in the first place. Yeah. And now she's going to potentially help Sansa, which is really interesting. But uh, does anyone know where Sansa is? Like, No, she's sort of, she's going to find yeah. her, which is quite the journey given you've got this whole world. I don't know. What... I know. That's what I mean. Like, where do you even begin? But I was going to say about Jaime that... I hope that he's slowly breaking ties with Cersei as well, especially after their last interaction. She's like, that will be all Lord Commander. I'll get off it. Yeah, like I'm hoping he gets fed up with her, man, because Cersei's just, she treats everyone horrible, dude. I've got no respect for Cersei. Yeah. I tried to at certain points in the story. Mm. She's just horrendous. Joffrey's gone now, so all I've got left to really hate is Cersei. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that snake Ramsay. He makes me sick. He's yeah. Honestly, the only way he could have redeemed himself, which I thought might have happened, was if he was someone who tortured Joffrey. That's what Joffrey deserved. He <laughs> deserved Ramsay. That is what he deserved. But Ramsay's a sicko, so I'm also waiting to see more on his storyline. I don't know if we'll get it this episode, but I do want to see more about him and Theon's storyline. Mm. He's actually coming after Jon Snow, do so. Jon's got to go fight Carl, fight Ramsay. This might be a big season for Jon if Damn. he if he wins out on this, which I hope he does. John might make some real big moves here. I'm excited for him. And also excited for all those little reunions. Marjorie's making moves on Tommen, which I just find so weird. Yeah. So weird. The kid is so young. I don't know how old he's actually meant to be, but he's so young. And she's, I think, like, surely 20 at least, you know? I've liked Marjorie for the most part. Yeah. She's, you know, obviously attractive. And she's quite a cool character, but... I do want her to be good. I just feel like she sold herself to be good. I'm happy when she's manipulating bad people like Joffrey and stuff. I'm just hoping that it doesn't turn out that she's so caught up manipulating that she ends up just being a treacherous sort of character. I can't see that happening. The Tyrells are definitely very, I mean, the way they've risen to power time and time again is by manipulating their yeah. people, especially the women in that house, tend to manipulate the stronger houses. So it seems to be their strength. He's like very manipulative women, kind of like Elena. She's very witty, very smart, very ahead of the game. They don't seem like 
just crap people. They don't seem like they're ill intent. Yeah. They, are, they do want to climb the ladder. They do know how to play the Game of Thrones, but they are not. They do not mistreat those who don't deserve mistreating in general from what I've seen. So I'm hoping that Marjorie you know, keeps that going. Yeah, I do hope that maintains throughout the story. I'm okay with her becoming queen and manipulating Tom and if it means Cersei loses power because Cersei is just horrendous. Mm. So Marjorie's definitely the lesser of the two evils there and hopefully she becomes a good queen. Marjorie interacting with Danny would be an interesting conversation. They're both yeah. similar age and they're both in their own rights, very witty and a lot more than meets the eye, you know? Mm. If that happens, that would be an interesting that would be a good interaction, but honestly, I don't know if they ha- even have time. Like the clock is ticking, and those White Walkers are doing their rituals, and they're just going for it. I mean, we found out last episode how they turn a White or a White Walker. Yeah, that was the end. That was pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Now we know why Crasta was giving him all the babies. We sort of anticipated that it was something, either mm. food or a way of turning his White Walkers. So we, we sort of got that one correct a while ago. Yeah. But, but it's it, the creepy to see. It also just expanded. The White Walkers aren't... I mean, we, we knew they weren't mindless, but they're actually very sophisticated. They've even got their own sort of council or higher-ups and wearing armor and stuff. So it just keeps growing. Like, the threat of that is, like, you're really going to need everyone who's currently fighting each other to unite here. I know, I know. Is that ever going to happen? Who knows? I mean, we've got so many people in different corners. We've got Stannis. We've got Mance. we got... Obviously, John, and then even the Night's Watch is divided. We've got Bran by himself. We've got Osha and Rickon. We've got... A lot of characters, I Yeah, guess. everyone. I don't know oh. if the uh, viewers want to be here all day, <laughs> if you list the entire cast. But the point is that it'll be just... a big. Yeah. I'd love if everyone... I could just imagine a very... I don't know if it seems more traditional, so maybe Game of Thrones will try and mix it up, but a very theatrical... All the factions, all out war, everyone for this final stand against these massive white walkers. I just got a it could feeling, be crazy. Yeah, I've got a feeling it won't happen. And because the budget's getting higher and higher, they by the time that happens, you know, season six and onwards is my guess, they will really have budgets for good battles because at, at that point, Game yeah. of Thrones was huge. I hope so. Like, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I do hope that we get something like that. That would be cool. Yeah. Especially with the dragons. Could you imagine? That'd be epic. Way for them to get bigger. Yeah. A couple more seasons. We haven't seen them in the last few episodes. We still got our boy Prince Oberyn. So yep. I'm very interested. He's on the jury yeah, for yeah. Tyrion. He's sort of on the council as well, apparently. So it's all a bit interesting with him, his endeavor. I know there's more to him and I and I just feel like by the end of this season, he's going to really reveal what he's here for, what he's here to bring. Mm. You guys all say how much you love his character and actor, and I'm sure yeah. that's not for no reason. So we are waiting to just see the man in action. I mean, to be fair, already he's made me really like him. So. Yeah, he's very interesting and witty, but I just really want to see, like, he's, this man's not afraid of, there's no tie with Thirsty, <laughs> there's no one. So I want to see he, like, I want to see what he can achieve here. My fingers are crossed for Tyrion right now. I just... Hopefully I justice is served. I can't lose him as well. I cannot. Like, I can't have two people from my love list gone. You say Tyrion is your number one favourite at the moment? Yeah, maybe. I think so. I think I'm putting... Rob was my initial. Yeah, I think I'm putting all my heart in John now. I think John is really winning me over and he's a Stark and he's Rob-like. So I think I'm putting John as my guy. Yeah. If I lose him, I'll probably just give up on life. And you can have Tyrion as your number one. Yeah. Uh, Tyrion and Jamie are really good at the moment, aren't they? Really yeah. like them both. Just want to make a note to our mods and anyone else who's been backing House Pudgy. Tyrion and Jamie. There was no, no mention of Danny. She <laughs> wasn't love- even in the top list. Yeah, but Danny's on my love list. No, I know. I'm just saying when when the truth when you. I'm just of, talking about the Lannisters. Stop when it. there's that moment of vulnerability and the honesty comes out, there was no Targaryen love there. So all no. those. <laughs> <laughs> you keep trying to pit you, pit you on the higher pedestal for loving Targaryens. It's a lie. I do. I love Danny. I did I not say that I would love to lead like her if I was a leader. I said that a few episodes ago. Rewind and find it. Well done. You found a strong female leader and said, "Oh, I would like to lead like her." That's got nothing to do with you. You have a character. Yeah, because I love her. I don't want to. I don't want to be someone like I don't like. <laughs> this conversation's gone to shit. <laughs> Guys, we appreciate all the love over on our Patreon. If you are interested in supporting the channel over on Patreon, check out the link in the description. We do have early access to upcoming reactions as well as uncut reactions. Everyone over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of today's episode.
All right. What's this called? First, First of, of his, his name. name. Ooh, that doesn't sound like something Stannis would say, but then... No, but it's... What everyone says, like, you know, I'm the first, like, king of yeah. the Andals. You know? Well, it's going to be it's gonna be a good episode. Uh, so, so I can feel it, man. I can feel it. I'm ready. I don't want to talk anymore. I want to watch. And protect him in these perilous times. May the Smith grant him strength. Crowning him as king. Already, yeah, wow. In the light of the seven, I now proclaim Tommen of the House Baratheon. House Baratheon, you reckon? Already this feels so different to Joffrey's, like, crowning. Long may he reign. Even the way Tywin says that is just like <laughs> defiance, you know? All right, boy, now lev never listen to your mother ever. <laughs> just don't let Cersei catch you smiling at Marjorie. She might kill you herself. <laughs> Be careful, Tommen. <laughs> There's a lot of eye contact there. Oh, no. Look at her, look at her. She does not miss a beat. Ugh. Go, come over to us. You see what's going to happen. Here we go. You ready for this? You still mourn for Joffrey? He was my husband, my king. He would have been your nightmare. Oh, okay. I think she's testing her here too. Maybe. Do you think I'm easily shocked? No. The things he did shocked me. Damn, that's saying something, dude. I know. Shocked Percy. He could be the first man who sits on that throne in 50 years to actually deserve it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. She sees that, at least. He will need help. No way! No way she's reaching out to her. You're still interested in being queen, I take it. <laughs> what? Strange, I know, but I am... Um, I haven't even given any thought to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you haven't, Marjorie. Cersei sees through that for sure. That interaction was really weird. I know. Without the Unsullied to enforce your rule, the wise masters have retaken control of the city. Oh my oh, god. Oh wow. And in Astapor, the council you installed to rule over the city has been overthrown by a butcher named Cleon. Damn. Oh wow. Okay, that's made this game a lot more complicated. Yeah. Makes sense. How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? Why should anyone trust me? Jorah's about to give you a reason. Now she has her core morals, I respect that. You're the mother of dragons. I need to be more than that. She's ambitious. I like it, Danny. I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. <laughs> I like that. I write that. I will do what queens do. Mm-hmm, tell us. I will rule. <laughs> Interesting, all this comparison about what it means to be a queen, you know, mm. from... And funny, from our discussion, we've got Marjorie and then Danny in this back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Interesting. This is why we love you, Danny. I always get so, like, giddy and emotional with her, all her scenes. Lord Peter Baelish and his niece, Elaine. Stand to! Why is he hiding her identity? Liza will know who she is, won't she? Probably. Maybe he doesn't want to alarm them because she's a bit of a... She's known to, you know, be half a bit everywhere. I don't know. Uncle Peter! Daddy Peter soon. Oh. I have brought you a gift. That's so weird. I'm not used to seeing <laughs> Baelish nice. I let him go so he could bring you here, to me. What do you want with her, though? <laughs> I hope that's genuine. Molly said they'd killed your mother and they chopped off your brother's head. Oh my god, so casually. This kid, man. Throw this kid in the bin. <laughs> this kid? That was just his gift. It's a weird couple of people, man. At least Hansa seems to mean safe hands for now but then again she's away from the Tyrells now yeah I don't know because she had some friends at last Marjorie and whatever and now she's always alone dude how lonely what took you so long arranging for the ascension of King Tom and the first extricating Sansa what the hell is this 
Oh my god, dude, she looks about 15 years older than him. And Bailey's just still in good form. I kind of feel bad for him. We had a wedding night many years ago. Don't you remember? Like it was yesterday. What? Dude, this guy's been ahead of the game for years. You told me to pour them into John's wine. My husband's wine. She's a you snake! Oh. Write a letter to Kat telling her it was a Lannister. No way! What the hell? No! So she knew Tyrion was innocent too, but they played that game. What the hell? Tonight it is then. <laughs> Holy... This guy is sick! What? I'm going to scream so loud. You'll hear me clear across the narrow sea. She's got a few He doesn't seem too. happy with this. Yeah, she's cooked. Oh, hang on. That just needs some discussion. So, the note that was written to Catelyn, was that the one regarding... Saying, you know... Um, the one that blamed Tyrion? Yeah, like the dagger or something like that. No? Remember how they gave it to Ned in the middle of the night? Yeah, it's going too far back to remember. I can't remember if Catelyn visited first, but we'll revisit that. I'm sure... Our mods will clear that up in, in the comments. But basically, he's just been playing this game for ages. Since, since the first handful of episodes. So the first hand, which started all of this, is the reason that Rob even came down to visit Ned in the first place, was poisoned because of Littlefinger from back then. We thought it yeah. was... Um, didn't we think at some stage it might have been Pycelle? Because they sort of knew he was... or something. Yeah, yeah. And it was never actually Cersei. Holy <laughs> crap, dude. So, okay. So they actually didn't really, because we thought it was them because of the whole children thing, and she actually never did it. So John Aaron died because Littlefinger somehow, for some reason, convinced Liza to poison him. Yeah, even though John Aaron was technically debunking the Lannisters' claim, which is what Liza seems to want anyway, because she hates the Lannisters. So I don't know, we're still missing something on why yeah, Peter we Baelish was the better choice, but damn. And I'm not convinced that Peter Baelish loves her at all here. He doesn't no. He looks like it's kind of like, uh, but. Oh, he just wants power. He'll do anything to get power. Why it's, he's taking this massive long route? I mean, because he has no power at all. So but technically, this is the second time he's try tried to have Tyrion killed because Tyrion was almost straight off the fucking cliffs here, remember? And he was yeah. only there because of Catelyn being played. Now, Look, they... I think he started a domino effect, but it's not necessarily that he played all the cards. Like, he couldn't control everyone. No, but, like, wow. Wow. Little Finger is just... <laughs> Damn, oh. they've written him really well. I'm appreciating his character, to be fair. I'm appreciating the writing. Very interesting. Yeah. He's become a much bigger player. Holy real quick. crap. Okay, that, that's a lot to digest, isn't it? But oh, she's... We'll she's we... um, I don't know, I'm not... Yeah, I don't know. She's a bit weird. Her and her son are both completely cooked. <laughs> oh, my God. She's screaming. Oh, my God. That's her. Jesus Christ. She sounds like an animal getting killed. Holy crap. What the hell? After we've allowed Tom and the appropriate time to mourn his brother. And Marjorie to mourn her husband. A fortnight? That seems reasonable. <laughs> A fortnight they've gone. Holy shit. And your wedding to Loras? Ooh. Oh. Shortly. A fortnight. I didn't like your husband. He used to pat me on the back a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be. Our last working mine ran dry three years ago. So they are in big debts. Shit. That's interesting. Oh, well, they're in big trouble. Vesting the Tyrells in the crown will help a great deal in this. Right. But as a judge, I cannot discuss the okay. trial with you. I'm happy with that, Tywin. Yeah, yeah. He's being consistent. I'll, I'll write it. Lannister legacy is the only thing that matters. You started wars to protect this family. Turned your back on Jamie for refusing to contribute to its future. What does Tyrion deserve for lighting that future on fire? Don't start, Cersei. I don't know where she gets her ground for that from. 
I guess she's angry, but dude, like if you genuinely she knows facts, he's not guilty. Yeah. Walter Frey. Oh, her list. Ill in pain. The mountain. <laughs> I wonder if he's off her list. We come across my brother. Maybe we can both cross a name off our list. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah. epic. If you were here right now, what would you do? I'd tell him to sh fuck up so I can get some sleep. <laughs> Interesting. He's still a bit, you know, he's afraid of his brother. Go on, get it over with. The list of doomed men. Only one name left. Oh, no. No way. The Hound. <laughs> I wonder oh. if she'll cross him off at some point because he's... I hope not. No, I mean not kill him. Like, I didn't mean for you to stop. Go on, enjoy them. Just waiting for the butt here. It's got to be some angle. Peter had three crates brought all the way from King's Landing. I knew you liked lemon cakes. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Why does he feel responsible for you? But I'm I'm half Tully. He loved your family so loved much. Loved your mother? No. That's what you wanted to say. Oh. Cat always went straight for the sweetest thing, the most obvious thing. Your uncle Brandon, he almost killed Peter in a duel. And your mother loved him anyway. Oh my God. Now, Peter is risking his life to save you. The daughter of a woman who didn't love him. This lady is, is wacko, man. Uh, you pregnant? Oh my goodness. No, I told you, Lord Tyrion and I, I never- I asking about Tyrion. Oh. What have you let Peter do with your body? Oh my God, she's a freaking paranoid schizo. You're hurting me. I'll know if you lie. Poor Sansa, man, she's been through so much. All he says is that I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learns, and I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth, and I swear to you that he's never touched me, not once, not ever. Dude, I, oh. want, I want Sansa to bounce back and be a badass. You'll be a widow soon. You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king, and you'll be free to marry Robin. Oh, no. Oh, she's sicko. Like, dude. she needs to go on my hate list, but there's too many. That list is growing. Dude, Sansa has had no luck with marriages, man. I loved when she was with Tyrion. I felt safer that way. <laughs> Be scared. You were on her list. <laughs> she didn't leave him. Practicing. All right, it. Go, Arya. What's her sword called again? Needle. She's practicing what Sirio taught her. Aww. Sirio lives on in Aria. The greatest swordsman who ever lived. Oh, respect mama man. Oh, Aria. Damn. Any boy hall with a sword could beat three Mary Trump. Sirio didn't have a sword. All armor, just a stick. Yeah, the poor guy. Yeah, so that's confirmation. The guy was killed. Damn. that to Arya. I know she has to learn, but... Your friend's dead, and Meryn Trant's not. Cause Trant had armor, and a big f***ing sword. I mean, true. He's teaching her a valuable lesson. Oh, rest in peace, Sirio. That's yeah. confirmation. I feel like in his own way, he does care about Arya to some degree. Yeah, yeah. That's what it seems like anyways. You're a Prince of Dawn. A legendary fighter. You could not save your sister. I'm a Lannister. Queen for 19 years, daughter of the most powerful man alive. Yeah. But I could not save my son. Cersei's working some angles. She's changed her attitude something. Something's happened. She knows he's on the council. True. We don't hurt little girls in Dorne. Okay. Everywhere in the world they hurt little girls. Yeah, well. Oof. Yeah. I wonder what the truth is. The best shipwrights in King's Landing have been working on it for months. Marcella loves the open water. What the gift? I know. My mother misses her very much. Look, I'll give Cersei one thing. She loves her children. That's the only thing she's got going for her. Oh no, 
no, no, no, no. <laughs> so I can't do anything. <laughs> Did you ever cook anything for Lord Tyrion? No, my lady. That was the cooks. <laughs> Rich life. <laughs> Pod was there just for like shits and gigs and saving his life on the Yeah, he's a like a city boy now learning how to live in the country. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm helping you with your armor. I've been removing my own armor for quite some time. Thank you very much. She probably doesn't want to open up to anyone again. Yeah, I think she'll grow to like him. At least Jamie was useful. Pod, not so much. <laughs> Whilst in Lord Tyrion's service, did you ever do anything remotely related to combat? Yes. I killed a man. King's guard. He tried to kill Lord Tyrion at the Blackwater. And he saved him. I'm so yeah, grateful yeah. for Pod. About that. I respect that. I pushed the spear through the back of his head. Brutal. Bloody ridiculous. Maybe she does need help after all. Help me with these straps. <laughs> oh. Oh, baby. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust Locke. I don't trust him. What's happened to them, dude? They've turned to absolute savages. Well, they're probably the, they're the ones with the worst history. Where's everyone else? Please, I'm ready for John to make his big move. Come on, man. Now keep quiet. He's too good at this, Locke. <laughs> We've got faith in Locke at the moment. He's talented. He hit the jackpot. But where's John? Patience, my friend, patience. Oh no. It's just so close. You need water. It doesn't matter. Of course, it matters. What's happening with Jojen? Yeah, he's like whole moods changed. He's sick. But why so sick? You've seen it too. Mira and I, you and Hodor, we're only here to guide you. He's waiting for you. The Raven? This isn't the end. Not for you. Tell me we're gonna lose Jojen. How will we know the end? He's losing control. This is like more than just walk abilities, dude. The guy's controlling fire. I don't think he's a walk. I think in the comments he was like something else. Here's the team. That's what I want to say. Carl was the top paid cutthroat in Flea Bottom. I've seen what he can do with a knife. Have you seen what I can do with a knife? Oh, <laughs> we I'm have. Ready. I'm ready. I like Locke at the moment. There were some hounds chained up inside. The closer we can get without the dog sniffing us, the better. He's such a liar. No, he's true. They're the dire wolves. Yeah, but what about... He doesn't, know, he doesn't know his brand. He doesn't know who they are. They just, Maybe. He's talking about not alerting the dogs so they could make a sneak through. Although dogs probably would help them, but... I know. As soon as he sees Ghost... Stop! What are they doing? Please. Please get off her! Oh. Sorry, they'll come in clutch. They'll come in clutch. They have waiting to. waiting for the time. Carl is a sick, sick man, dude. So many sick people in this show. You've got pretty hair, don't you? Yeah, just like your mother's, we know. Blah, blah, blah. If you let my sister go, I can help you. I have the sight. <sighs> Things that haven't happened yet. He knows he's dead, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Have you seen what I'm going to do to your sister? <laughs> oh, this guy is sick. Don't close your eyes. Oh my god, please don't. Anytime now, John. Anytime. I saw your body burn. Oh! I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. Yes, you did. Here, yeah, the nice watch. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, let's, let's go. go. John. Oh yes. I'm so ready for this, dude. Oh, epic. Oh, my man's in there stomping. Go, Locke. I respect it. Rescue party's here, lads. 
lady. Yes. He's gone with you. Nice. Finally. Take you to him. Oh no. Here, Brandon Stark. Oh no. You're going for a ride, boy. John! John! I knew it! I told you! Starting with the idiot. Get your hair. Get your hair. Yeah, I just don't trust him, do I? Nah. I do. I don't. Because he didn't like Jamie, but he was loyal to Bolton's orders and loyal to the North regime. Yeah, I don't know. Bolton was a snake there, so I don't know. I like Locke at the moment. Oh, Locke. Oh, you were right, man. There always has to be some angle. I'm dude. so angry right now. I don't know why I'm smiling, but I'm fuming. I you knew that's correct. why he didn't mention it. I knew it. I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to believe that for one, something was going to go to plan. Nah. Hold or scream. Oh, he can. Oh, dude. Oh, this is gonna this is be epic. Sick. Come on, come on. Oh, let's go, Bran. Oh, yes, please. I'm ready for John versus Carl. Yes. Go, Hordor slash Bran. No way! Just like that. Go Hodor, go Hodor! Holy crap. Cut me loose. Oh no. Cut me loose, Hodor. Oh, poor Hodor. Yeah, I didn't think wow, about that. Wow, just like that. Oh, please don't happen to Hodor. Anything happened to Hodor. <laughs> John, you legend. Let's go, baby. I can see him. If he sees you, he won't let you go north. He's my brother. And he wants to protect you. No. It was too good to be true. I knew Far it. Far out the brand. This show never wants the family to meet each other, dude. So close, man. God damn it. My heart's breaking. Oh, me too, me too. And we need to go. God damn it, dude. They better see each other once for this series. I don't know if I can enjoy this right now. Oh, I can enjoy this. I'm ready. This will be a great battle. <laughs> go, John. My man. Come on, John. He fights with like two like daggers. Carl does. Some old man did you understand how to parry? Oh God. How to fight with honor. That's kind of mirroring Jamie and Bronton. Hmm. It's a good jewel. You know what's wrong with honor? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't kill, kill her, don't kill her, don't kill her, don't kill her. John will get in, intervene. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Holy. Wow. I mean, Carl deserved that. God damn, that was gruesome. They find new ways to surprise me every time. I can't tend dead mutineers. Mark said there were 11 of them. Oh yeah, the one I took the girl out. Rust. Rust. He ran like a wimp. Don't worry, Freaking the whites coward. are coming after you. Now they have nowhere to go. He'll get mauled by the White Walkers watch. <sighs> the gates open. The wolf's free, the one that he used to torture. And I think that's John's wolf as well. Ghost. Oh. That was sick. Bye bye. He's back. Oh, seven hours. I was hoping he'd come back. Oh. I missed you, boy. Oh, I like this reunion. Finally. Some kind of reunion. It's not safe for you here on your own. 
Mance Raider has an army heading this way, and there's worse out there than Mance. At least he's explaining to them, you know. Exactly, yeah. Come with us to Castle Black. He's giving him a choice as well. Meaning all respect to Crow. Craster beat us, and worse. Your brother Crow's beat us, and worse. We'll find our own way. Hmm. They don't really have any trust. Burn it to the ground. And all the dead with it. Yep. Perfect. All those years they let Cresta run this side of yeah, the wall. Yeah, use them. I'm proud of them. They did well. Yeah, I'm really proud of them, man. Especially my man, John. Put respect on his name. Oh, wow. That's it. That, that flew. flew. Yeah, that flew. I knew Locke was... I, said, I just... When he put his hand up to go with John, even before that, when he stepped in the Night's Watch, I was like, he's not here for a good reason. I knew well, I wonder it. what he wanted with Bran. Oh, well, he's a valuable hostage. Yeah, but who is he going to negotiate with? Anyone. Yeah, Lannister, I don't know. It's just like a very like short-term anyway. plan on your own. If you don't have an army or someone backing you on your own, you can only go so far, especially when you're a Night's Watch man already. Yeah, but you saw how confident he was with his skills, you know? Yeah, I just think he was overconfident. Yeah, interesting. With Locke, in hindsight, it was quite obvious. I didn't want to see it because I honestly wanted to hope that some character was going to be introduced that was going to be semi-decent, but... Didn't work out that way. No. I'm glad that in the end it didn't really have much consequence. But I mean, as always, it's bittersweet. John got an epic glory, but him and Bran will not see each other. They knew they just had to add that in, man. Like we've just seen that time and time again, so close and yet so far. This show really, really makes you earn, if ever, that I family know. will come together. Exactly. If ever, if like, before they die. People are dying quicker than they can meet each other. I know. Oh. Imagine making that decision as Bran. Like, I would struggle so much. Like, your brother is right there. If you wait 10 minutes and then leave. But I guess the whole point was John wasn't going to let him leave. Oh. I wonder what Bran's destiny is going to be. And I think it's going to be intertwined with the White Walkers, potentially. He's going to somehow mm. come back with some extra gift or power or something. I just think something like that's going to happen. But Maybe. I'd be interested to see what. Well, Jojen is losing the plot. I think the reason why he was getting sick, if I remember from previous episodes, was because he was losing control. Yeah, he and was already getting sick because these visions and stuff were taking a, a toll yeah, on him. Yeah, he couldn't control them anymore. And also, there were also consequences for Bran going into other people, especially humans. You lose a bit of yourself each time. I think he was, especially if it's extended periods of time, you can forget. So the goal was not to be there because he was yeah. being hours in his dire wolf, you know? Yeah. Damn, epic Hordor got <laughs> got his moment. Yeah, his but... Brand Hordor, but... I feel like that's going to traumatise him. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we could see. He was obviously shocked by what he did. Yeah. Peter Bailey's probably the big, big one here. Like, his story, wow. Peter and Liza, they're nutters. Just when you think things can't get more and more shocking, like... This guy has just been... Oh, this guy's the catalyst for the start of everything. Literally. And then he has the balls. Like, let's remember, he has the balls once Ned was dead to go to Catelyn and ask to marry her. Do, and do he was remember? already married to her sister. No, they weren't married yet. Yeah, he said years. Oh, so they were already married. Yeah. So I don't know what game this guy's playing. I think he just plays everyone. I think Peter Bailey's the definition of playing everyone. Anyone who trusts him is an idiot. This man is like next level snake. And the only one who knows how dangerous he truly is, I think, is Varys. Because holy crap. We haven't seen much of Varys lately. But little finger man. Oh, God. That was he, a good thing. He knew that Ned would have to go to King's Landing because John Aaron died. Oh. Yeah. It still blows my mind. But that... it's still understanding the why. Yeah. Because... And what he's going to gain from it. If John Aaron was going to expose the Lannisters and ruin their rule, and he, the Lannisters, I guess, were serving his purpose at the time, mm. and now they're not. But it's like he, he already had a contingency plan yeah. for if they didn't, sweep, you yeah. know, jump, skip, switch sides. Damn, this guy. He's just trying to get each bit of, like, power he can get from everywhere until he's at the top. 
Yeah, it's crazy. Holy shit. And Liza was just... Ugh, yuck. That that interaction with Sansa was just scary. It was scary. Like, she was... There's a fair few psychos in this show. Oh, plenty of psychos. I'm happy, though, that John has made his one of his first big marks towards rising. Mm. I think if that snake... I can't remember his name. Who's the acting commander? Commander. Yeah, I don't remember his name. But I'm if like- he doesn't pull respect on John's name and give him some title, if he keeps him in his currently shit role, then I'm just waiting for John to take him out because I'm, John is a weapon. I'm calling it. John is going to be commander. They're all, especially this crew now, they just followed John. They He leaded them to victory. He led them. Oh. <laughs> I'm normally not a grandma person, but because he's always quick me on grandma, that's just like really rare. I mean, Saying he was leading them, oh, no. and then I mixed it but up. Did he, you say he, he he leaded? What did you say? <laughs> he he leaded them. He leaded them. Yeah. So he, he, said he led else. them. He led them to victory. I was oh, like, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> yeah, he led them to victory, and yeah, I just see the acting commander being surprised that they're going to come back alive. The only thing I was craving from this episode that would have been just so like nice mm. is to see seeing John fight. I wanted to see John and Rob fight together. I just felt like seeing that brother duo would have been so cool. Don't. I know. I'm just, but I was looking at John was fighting like a boss. Rob had some epic moments in the last couple of seasons. I was just thinking, man, like they feel like brothers. You know what I mean? Like it would have just been cool to see them. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> can't cry like, just like that. Yeah, I miss my man Rob. I do too. I am glad. John, I didn't rate John as highly till this season. I liked him, but, you know, Rob was making moves. John was always sort yeah. of fumbling about, getting schooled and whatever. Now John's, after the Wilding experience, he's really become his own man. I can just see he's really grown into that role. And he almost seems, in some ways, I don't want to speak too soon, but in some ways he seems to be the best parts of Ned and Rob and a little bit less naive because he's almost broken the right oaths yeah. if that makes sense and he's prepared to do what he needs to to get the job done and yeah. so i hope that john can survive a little longer in this world than his other the other two well i think breaking a few oaths and then kind of getting away with it also helped his perspective a bit you know i think knowing that there's a gray area for rules was really important for his leadership style you know he outgrew those just really stringent you know, rules that he had to follow before. Yeah. He's seen the world's much bigger place and sometimes to get what you need to get done, you can't just live in the confines of, of, of you know, yeah. A and B. But it is a very fine line. Ned trusted too much in honour and the rules and whatnot. Rob cheated that system a bit and thought he could get away with it. So, yeah, if it's taught us anything. There's a very fine line to, yeah. you know. And look, what happened to Rob? I mean, he sort of didn't play his cards right. At the same time, guess right. I mean, people just do not expect yeah. that to be. So that was a really rare scenario where guess right was completely yeah. bastardized, like just ruined. Yeah. So there's that too. But anyway, I'm just, I'm happy seeing John live into this role. Mm. Danny, I do appreciate how... Jorah's been there for her since day day one. And yes, he was going to betray her. I wonder if she'll ever find that out because that will be an interesting twist, like a little dynamic shift. Yeah. But he is the one that she goes to, like sends everyone out of the room and trusts what he has to say. So I do appreciate that interaction between them. I'm liking the next character arc they're building for her, which is she sort of, you know, she holds herself to account, to yeah. a standard, and she, she's not prepared to take the kingdom and mm. glory if she doesn't feel like she's earned it. And her mm-hmm. earning it is freeing the slaves of Essos, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Essos, yeah. It's interesting. And, I'm, I'm, and it's, I thought of that sort of pretty wrapped up. You know, she she got the last place. I'm like, it's all done. And then Yunkai and Astapor all of a sudden, no, it's not as simple as that. So it's going to be cool because now yeah. they'll be maybe more prepared for her and it's going to be a big battle. So I'm, I'm enjoying Danny's arc. I'm looking forward to I'm liking this. Yeah. She's almost playing this Spartacus role. I don't know if you know much about Spartacus, but I'm, I'm liking that. So it's cool. Whereas Viserys, if he was alive, he would have been just all guns blazing. Yep, let's go to Westeros. I'm done here. This is beneath me. Like Honestly, Viserys and Joffrey were the same. Not in their cruelty, 
but just spoiled brats who were trying to live in the glory of men who actually earned their title yeah. and just had this entitled sense of, oh, I deserve everything, but I've done nothing to earn it, you know, just, yeah. just shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm really pumped for next episode. Like, oh, what's going to happen? Like, this season looks like it's going to be a big one, but, I mean, we've said that about every season, yeah. haven't we? We've experienced plenty of big ones, but episode <laughs> five did not disappoint. No. Did not disappoint. A bit more action. It was interesting. You know, some I was expecting some big things to be revealed and happen, and when we saw them, so very excited. Now I think it's just the back to the drawing board, a bit of a build up till the end of this season, mm. which I imagine again I think it's going to be big. Yeah, well, there's been a lot of storylines put to sleep at the moment. Like we have Brienne going to the wall, Theon to the wall, and then everyone else. I mean, Yara's on her way. Season one, they got beheaded. Lannisters win. Season two. They fend off Stannis' attack, Lannisters win. Season three, they play Rob, the Red Wedding, Lannisters win. I am wondering if the show wants to maintain its very unbiased thing in the interest of what we've heard about Tywin saying right now, the interest of Cersei seeming almost half defeated in a sense, Joffrey dying. Will the Lannisters finally take their first proper loss? It's sort of this season for the first time in ever has really shown a bit more wins on the board. It's still a bit everywhere. Yeah. I just wonder. It'll be interesting. I hope so. But Cersei is playing the game as she always does. I don't know if she genuinely is going to marry Loras. Just remember, she did whatever she did to her body oh, as no. well. It's all a bit weird what she's saying now. Even about, you know, saying that Marjorie should guide Tom and knowing that Marjorie's very manipulative and, and you know, it's very... Yeah, that I feel I'm like she's sure. got a game plan here that, that we're not seeing. That part I'm not sure, but with Oberyn, I knew it was because... She wanted to find some common ground for the council to get Tyrion booted. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on the next reaction. See you guys.